Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the official study manual for T's 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we are on page number 132. Page, one, page 132 you will find five problems there. We did problem number one yesterday on day two. Today we'll work on the remaining four problems. The name, the, the title of the book, the ISP number is all, all, all in the book, all in the blackboard there. You can find it very easily. You must have the book in front of you as I said. It makes life easier. We, as I said, we already did problem number two yesterday. We'll begin with problem number two. Uh, uh, we did problem number one yesterday, we'll do problem number two. So problem number six, two simply says, convert into, and what we have to convert is 17 over 10 into percent. The question says, which of the following Percentage is equivalent to 17 over 10. In other words, they want us to convert 17 over 10 into percent. We talked about it yesterday. We talked about it day before yesterday on day one and two. Today is day number three. Uh, we already talked about both of those days as to what the word percent actually means. Percent, one more time, percent literally means per 100 or out of 100. So if you can convert this bottom into a 100, then as long as the bottom is 100 in any fraction, in any fraction at all, if the bottom is 100, then whatever number that you see on the top, that's the percentage. So how do we convert the bottom into 100? It's very simple. Multiply the bottom by 10. We already have a 10. 10 times 10 is 100. We will have 100 at the bottom. But we can't just simply multiply the bottom by the 10. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do the same thing to the top. So it's 17 over. In other, in other words, convert, convert, multiply 17 by 10, also, the top by 10 also. I'm looking at my pointer here, just pointer is in my hand. No, that's not what I'm looking for. So there we go. We want to convert 17 over 10 into percentage. 10 times 10 is 100 at the bottom. And 17 times 10 is 170. And as we just said, as we just talked about it a second ago, once the bottom is 100, once the bot once you have 100 at the bottom, then whatever you see on the top, that's the percentage. So the question was, what is 17 over 10? What is 17 over 10 as a percentage? The answer is, it is 170 percent. It is equal to 170 percent because that's what it is. 170 over 100, which is 170 percent, which is same as 17 over 10. Well, that was problem number two. Let's look at number three. See, for example, for example, two, what is two in percentage? How do you express two as a percent? Well, if you have one, if you have one whole pizza, if you have one whole pizza, you have a hundred percent of it. In other words, one is one hundred percent. So how do we go from here to there? We want the bottom to be 100. Right now it is just 1 over 1. How do we convert the bottom into 100? Multiply top and bottom by 100. And once we do that, whatever we end up on the, so bottom we have 100, whatever we end up on the top, 1 times 100 is 100, whatever we end up on the top, that's the percentage. In other words, 1 is 100. Similarly, if you have 2 and you convert, one, convert it into percentage, multiply top and bottom by 100. And you end up with 200 over 100. In other words, 2 is 200 percent. 1 is 100 percent. Makes sense, doesn't it? Seems logical that if 1 is equal to 100 percent, 2 should equal 200 percent, and 5 should equal 500 percent, and so on and so forth. Number 3 says we are given. 56.4% and the question is which of the following is equivalent that they're giving us in fraction. In other words, convert 56.6% into fraction. 
Test number two. Test number two. number two. Test number three. Fifty-six percent into fraction. Let's do this, shall we? So, what does the word fraction mean? What does the word percentage mean? Percent means over one hundred. Fifty-six point four over one hundred. That's what percent means. But here they want us to convert percent this percentage into fraction. So we just did that. We could translate it to the word percent is 100. That is the fraction. 56.4 over 100. That is the fraction. However, it is not an acceptable form of a fraction because when we have a fraction, both the top and bottom must be expressed in whole numbers. The top here is not a whole number. It's 56.4. How do we convert that into a whole number? If you were to multiply 56.4 times 10, then it will become 556. 564 rather, because this decimal will move one spade this way when you multiply by 10. If you're multiplying top by 10, we must multiply the bottom by 10. There we go. So 56.4 over 100, over 100, when you multiply top and bottom by 10, will become 50, 564, because it's 56.4, we pick up the decimal and move it one spot this way. It becomes 564 over 1000. Over 1000. And that's it. Let's look at number 4. Number 4 says convert 3.75% into decimal. It says, I'm going to read the, read the problem to you verbatim. Which of the following decimal is equivalent to 3.75%? So that's what it is. They're giving us the percentage and they're asking us to convert it into decimal. Okay? The word we just, the word we just used was verbatim, which means word for word. I just read the problem to you verbatim. Work on your vocabulary. It doesn't hurt to work on the vocabulary. Type in T's vocabulary words day one. You will find a series of 100 videos. Watch those videos and work on your vocabulary. So let's do that, shall we? We want to convert this into decimal. What does the word percent mean? Percent means over 100. 3.75 over 100. And that's it. We don't want to convert into fraction. If they, are, if they were asking us to convert this into fraction, then after we did this step, there will be one additional step, which will be to multiply top and bottom by 100 to get rid of this 0.75 pieces, because top has to be a whole number. So here, since they want us to convert into decimal, we simply divide this number by 100. And how do we do that? We pick up our number, 3.75, and since we're dividing it, since we're dividing it by 100, which has two zeros, we pick up our decimal and move it two spots to the, to the left, two spots, one, two. The decimal ends up here, and we have a zero here, there we go. So we, what we end up is, what we end up here is, zero point, zero point, zero three seven five, zero three seven five, one. That's the answer. 3.75 or 3 and 3 quarter percent when expressed in decimal that is 3 and 3 quarter percent that's how I just read it you can read it as 3.75 percent or you can simply read it as 3 and 3 quarter percent it's the same thing it's the exact same thing because 3 quarter is 0.75 when somebody asks us to convert somebody asks us to express 3 and 3 quarter percent into decimal the answer is 3 and 3 quarter percent expressed in decimal is 0.0375 that was number four. So number five. Number five says convert, convert, convert 16, 16, 16 over 50 into decimal. They're being asked to convert 16 over 50 into decimal. Let's do this, shall we? 16 over 50. Whenever we have to convert something into decimal, 
it always makes it easier. You could actually pick up the calculator, divide top and bottom in the calculator and it will give you what the decimal form is. But if you're doing it by hand, it's much easier to divide any number, any quantity. It's much easier to divide any quantity by 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000, any multiple of 10, because all we have to do is move the decimal places. So if we can somehow convert this bottom into 100, we're home free. Because then, then we can very easily divide the top, whatever it is, into 100. Or we convert 50 into 100. It's very easy. Multiply the top and bottom by 2. Voila. Because 2 over 2 is 1, we haven't changed its value. Because multiplying anything by 1 doesn't change its value. So now we have 16 times 2, which is 32 over 100. And 32 over 100, we take our 32, which has decimal here and move it two spots, one and two, it ends up here. In other words, 32 over 100 is simply 0 0.32. Right here. We'll put a leading zero here. So that's it. So the answer was, what is 16 divided by 50 expressed in decimal? The answer is, it is 0 0.32. Follow. That was number five. And that is the last problem on the page. And after that, we go to, as you turn the page, as you go to the next, as we go to the next uh, form, chapter 21, it talks about a different topic, entirely different topic. But I feel that it would be a good idea for us to practice a few more questions on this topic. And the topic that we are at uh, right now is how to convert from decimal to fraction to percentage, going back and forth, percentage, decimal, and fraction. You you have to be able to juggle. You have to be an acrobat. If some if something is given in one form, we must be able to convert it into one of the other two forms, either decimal to percentage to fraction or any other combinations there. That's what we're dealing with right now. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you a few problems for you to work on as a homework. As a homework, then we're going to spend one more day, day number four tomorrow. We're going to spend one more day where we go through those extra problems, the bonus problems. Okay, I'm going to give you 10 of them. So here we go. These are all bonus problems, so homework for day four. Bonus problems. Here we go, number one. So they are all essentially are going to tell us to convert something into something. So here's the first one. It says convert. It says convert 3 over 250 into decimal. Number two. Number two says convert 0 0.025 into fraction. Number three says convert 6 over 25 into percent and decimal. So problem number 3 has two parts to it, A and B. Number 4 says convert, oh I messed something up, oh, I messed up completely something, I missed one in there. So let's this is number three, this is number four, and this is number two. I have to write the same number because when I do them tomorrow in my notes here, I have them in that order, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna cause confusion. I missed number two. Number two says number two says convert one fifth into decimal. And number five says convert seven tenth into percent. Five very simple problems. I'm going to walk you through very quickly one more time. I actually had ten in my in my notes here, but because we can worry about five right now. So the first one says convert two, three over 250 into decimal. Second one says, number two says convert one-fifth, one-fifth into decimal. Number three says convert 0 0.025 into fraction. Number four says convert six over 25 into both percentage and decimal. And number four says convert six over twenty-five. Six over twenty-five. Well that was number four. And number five says convert seven tenth into percentage. 
We'll work on this problem tomorrow. We'll work on these, these five problems and perhaps five more. We'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. If you wish to get hold of me, you can send me an email at kashwaniprep at icloud.com. All right, bye now.